My home office has been an essential part of my daily life. I've been working from home for over a year now, and having a dedicated space has truly been vital in keeping myself productive. Recently, I left my day job to pursue my own architecture firm and put more effort into content creating. Typically, transitions like this come with a change in environment, so I decided to revamp my home office so that I could put myself in the best space physically and mentally. Hey guys, welcome to the new home office. My name is John Imperial. Let me share to you everything that's in this space. The first thing I had to do was plan how I was going to create a change that was just as functional, if not better. You would think it would be easy to figure out how to design a 10 foot four by 11 foot nine room, but it took several amount of schemes to settle on one. After figuring out what I wanted to do, I had to take down everything, purge my stuff, and get to work. The biggest struggle was choosing another color for the accent wall. Originally, I was going to go lighter, but after testing out a couple of colors, it just didn't feel right. So I went with Black Forest Green by Benjamin Moore. Visually, it might seem like a subtle change, but the green tint makes a big difference to me. The centerpiece of this setup is this desk from my friends over at Ergon Office. This is their Walnut Sway desk. This particular model is the 30 inch by 60 inch tabletop. I've been wanting to get a 30 inch deep desk that I can use as an all-in-one desk for my meetings, drawings, and content creating. This walnut table has a very beautiful wood grain which sets it apart from other desks out there. It feels really good to the touch and since it's made out of solid wood, it feels very robust. Since this is a standing desk, you can have two presets. I have one set for sitting and the other one set for standing. The motors are pretty quiet and the desk feels stable when switching from sitting to standing and vice versa. The desk drawer is a much needed addition. This is where I store most of my architecture tools and I love that they are within arm's reach when I need them. The drawer has the same walnut finish that matches the tabletop and it looks so good. But my favorite is this cable management solution. I was dreading the fact that I had to redo my cable management, but this makes it so easy. You get a surge protector that you mount on the rack and basically any wires that you don't want showing, you just tie it up. The perforation allows you to hook zip ties and cable ties and this leaves your desk looking clean not only from the front, but also from the back. Another thing that helps with cable management is this cable net that is included in every desk order. It's a nice touch that allows lazy people like me to just shove everything you don't want dangling in it. I also added casters for my desk just in case I want to move stuff around. I do want to highlight that the installation process for all of these accessories are so easy. All holes were pre-drilled into the tabletop, so all you need to do is screw things in. A simple addition, but it makes you feel that Ergon Office had you in mind. If you want to see the complete tools and accessories I have on my desk, I will be posting a separate video about my desk setup. So consider subscribing so you get notified when that video goes live. On the right side of my desk, I have the neat filing cabinet, which has the same walnut finish, which really just ties it all together. This is where I store my hard drives, SSD, USB hub, in various project files. I love the fact that I can lock the bottom cabinet for extra security. On top of the filing cabinet, I have my 16 inch MacBook Pro docked on the Book Arc by 12 South, a pen holder from Grove Made, and this faux plant. I have the same 34 inch ultra wide Dell monitor, which I mounted using an Ergotron LX monitor arm. This arm is one of the best arms I've used out there. It's very stable and moving your screen around is so smooth and effortless. I also love that they incorporated some cable management into their design. This gives my desk a clean look and allows me to have as much desk space as I need. To frame my desk for videos and add character to the room, I have two Lyra lamps beside my cubbies. 
The great thing about this is you can control each segment and change it to a different color if you want. There are scenes that you can pre-select and of course you can make your own. What I love about these lights is that it has so much color options and it's able to produce warm and cool whites. There's also a music setting so that when you're playing music, it reacts to it. It is a beautiful looking lamp that can easily elevate any space you put it in. I got this cubby to help add more storage in the space. Initially, I had a different use in mind, but after settling for this office scheme, it just felt right to have it within arm's reach of my desk. The black top didn't look right next to the dark green wall, so I found this DIY inspiration from Modern Builds. I followed his video step by step, but the only difference was I stained mine with walnut. This DIY is so simple, but in my opinion, it made the biggest difference. Sitting on top of the cubby is the desk shelf from Ergon Office. Typically, people would use this on their desk, but I decided to use this desk shelf as an accessory to help organize some stuff. I have a U4 Canto speaker set on an elevated speaker stand. I was hesitant at first to get the walnut because I was thinking it might be too much, but I love the contrast of it with the walls. These speakers can connect to my MacBook via Bluetooth, which is important because it helps keep my setup clean. Having Bluetooth is awesome because if I want to use my iPhone or iPad as a source, I can do it. In my opinion, it produces good enough sound for my setup, although some people might find the bass to be lacking, but there is an option to get a separate subwoofer if you want. I have been using this wall shelf from Grovemade for a while now. It's no wonder why you see people use it in their setups. It's a beautiful shelf that adds character and functionality to your space. I have some decorations sitting on top of it along with this cool deconstructed iPhone 5 from Grid Studio. The latter shelf that used to be on both sides of the wall are now side by side. This helps open up the entry area a lot more and it gives more space to move my light and camera around when I'm filming. On the other side of the room, I have the stealth gaming setup, which is pretty much the same. Other than now, I am using the Ergotron LX monitor arm. I'll leave the links in the cards in case you're curious to know more about how I created this setup. This wall has the 38 inch wall shelf from Grovemade, mounted right about the height of the light switch and the thermostat, just so I could blend it a little bit better. On top, I have this keep creating neon sign from Sketch and Etch. This is one of the phrases that has always resonated with me. Locating it here was important so that I can look at it every day while sitting on my desk. On the right, I have this IKEA pegboard that I use to store some content creation tools and other things that inspire me. On the opposite side of the wall, I have this storage cabinet to store some of the bigger tools that I have. Lastly, I replaced the ceiling light I had with this 21 inch LED light. I like that it has a remote that you can use to turn the lights on or off, change the color temperature and control the brightness. This is an easy way I can add functional lighting that I can use for those dark winter days. The space I had truly was perfect for the season that I was in. It was aesthetically pleasing, functional, and most importantly, it was designed for my needs at the time. But as I grow in my career, my needs grow with me. And this makeover and redesign is just what I needed. Every morning, I come in feeling excited for the day, ready to explore more opportunities and tackle the challenges ahead. Redesigning a space is a good way to break bad habits, improve comfort, and boost creativity. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy, you can simply rearrange and reorganize things. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video about the process I went through in designing the space. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for letting me share this journey with you, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.